Hey everybody, so as you can see, I am driving, but I'm hands-free, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm headed to my, to meet my mom, and then we're gonna go meet my brother for dinner. I am childless, which man, I need the break, I can tell you that. So, <clears throat> it's just me driving, I have like an hour drive before I meet my mom, and then from there, I'm going to drive with her the rest of the way, um, which is about 30, 40-ish minutes. Um, but my brother works, so we have to wait for him to get off work. So anyway, I wanted to make a short video um, talking about my plan for the month of May as far as my weight loss journey goes. So... I saw this video on Facebook. I follow or I like um, a page called, it's Buzzfeed. And they have a few different pages, um, but a lot of the times they do like, they kind of do the, these experiments, I guess you'd say, with their employees. And they make these videos. And like sometimes it's like them trying different foods from different countries. Or, like, one of the videos was really funny. They had men, like, a group of men explain how the female anatomy works. It's, it was kind of funny because um, they're clueless. And then just, just different things. So, one of the videos that was posted probably about a week ago, um, they had three employees or, or people... Um, I say employees because it's always the same people in the, it's like a handful of people and it's always the, the same ones in the video. So I'm pretty sure they work for BuzzFeed. But anyways, they had this group um, go without sugar for an entire month for 30 days. And some of them, like the, I think the girl, you know, she's all about her soda and um, loves candy and stuff. And like uh, one of the guys like, um, drinks coffee all the time and pours a ton of sugar in it and you know they eat sweets and stuff throughout the day and the other guy I think um, was obsessed with like energy drinks and and um, you know eating crap like cookies and candy and um, lots of processed foods and stuff and so they challenged them to go without sugar um, which is actual like sugar um, any foods that involve or contain sugar, artificial sweeteners, agave, is that how you say that? Agave, honey, um, what else? Like high fructose corn syrup. Basically, they're going sugar free. And um, so they kind of, they, they did like progressional things. So like they, they talked about, like the people talked about um, how much sugar they probably eat or drink throughout a day and like what their thoughts are on the next 30 days and how hard they thought it would be and, and the girl's like oh, I don't know if I can do this it's gonna be so hard and then they checked in with them like a week later then like two weeks and then like the month after or like the 30 days after and so like the first week they're like oh this is awful like they felt like really crappy um but then they made it I think like when they were like two or three weeks in they were all like feeling pretty good and then they hit their like 30 day mark and they all like were like I think I might stick to this I feel amazing I'm not dependent on sugar anymore um and the one guy said he was doing something he was up real late so he drank like a Red Bull to um or maybe it wasn't a Red Bull maybe it was just some other energy drink to kind of help him stay up that that night to like study or you know whatever it was and he said he felt like crap the entire next day because his body kind of detoxed from sugar and he put that crap back in there and it was like rejecting it basically so that was kind of a long-winded explanation I guess but anyways watching that it got me thinking I think I'm going to go without sugar for a month at least 30 days I'm going to try it um I'm already doing low carb as you know and it's working well um but I want to be like healthy. I want to have a healthier lifestyle and I want to make sure that my child who probably has a 
pretty typical toddler diet. <laughs> I want him to eat healthy and be healthy. And like, I love vegetables and stuff. Um, my husband is awful and he's terribly picky and it makes it harder on me. I feel like some people think it's an excuse and I guess in a way it is, but if I'm cooking dinner for my family and my husband doesn't want what I'm cooking, it kind of, it's frustrating and I'm not in a financial situation where I can make multiple meals, um, nor can I buy double the groceries, stuff for him and stuff for me. So, anyway, um, I told him today, I've only, I only saw him for maybe a half an hour, um, but I told him that t starting tomorrow, since it's May 1st, I want to um, try to go the 30 days without sugar. So, that is my goal. <laughs> I don't know how hard it's going to be, to be totally honest. I'm not a huge soda drinker, and I'm the kind of person is, if I see it, it'll make me want to eat or drink it, but if it's not in my face, I don't usually want it. So, um, there's like, there's roadkill all over the place near where I live. I kind of like live in like the boonie area where there's like, um, lots of fields and, sorry. Lots of fields and stuff and woods and there's dead animals all over the side of the road. It's really awful. Anyways. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'm going to try to go without sugar. Oh, that's what I was saying. So, I don't I don't feel like I um like I ingest a lot of sugar in a day. I really don't feel like I do, but I could be wrong and I guess I'm going to find out the hard way. Um, but, you know, when I drink coffee, um, actually, I have some iced coffee right here. Homemade. Didn't go to McDonald's or anything. Um, it's just ice, brewed coffee, and some vanilla creamer. Now. Okay, sorry. My phone ran out of memory, so I had to delete a bunch of stuff. Which was really hard while driving. Don't judge me. I'm sorry. Anyway, I don't know where I left off. So I think I was talking about my iced coffee. And so I don't put sugar in my coffee. I put vanilla creamer, which, oh yes, that's what I was talking about. Vanilla creamer has sugar in it. I'm aware of that. It has six grams actually. So I will be not drinking that anymore. I'm actually going to look into making my own creamer by using actual real like organic cream. And I'm, I don't know about like vanilla extract, if that has sugar in it or not. If anybody knows, let me know. I think I have vanilla extract at home, but I don't know if that has a nutritional like label on it. Um, but either way, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to miss coffee because I I don't really drink it, so I'm not really going to miss it. Um, I drink it occasionally, like if I need the caffeine or if I'm just kind of like craving some iced coffee. But um, that's that's it. If I have water, I'll drink water, um, and I'm going to continue drinking like my gallon a day, which I kind of failed at already today, but that's okay. Um, what am I going to say? So yeah, anyways, I was just wondering if any of you would like to join my journey. I figured I'd make a video before it actually happened, which is tomorrow, May 1st, um, just cutting out a sh cutting out sugar out of your life. Now, I'm not going to say it's going to be easy because it's probably not going to be easy. Even though I'm kind of like, oh yeah, I don't drink or eat that much sugar. Um, I don't think I do, but I might. But I'm going to look at labels and anything that includes sugar or, or high fructose corn, corn syrup or whatever, I'm not going to partake in. So, I'm at a red light, so I don't want to look at you guys and I hope that nobody else can see me talking to myself. Maybe they'll think I'm FaceTiming. Can you FaceTime in a car? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, if you guys want to join me in this challenge, sugar-free challenge for 30 days, let me know in the comments below. Um, I think that I would be really good. And I think it might put a little kick 
in my weight loss journey and kind of helped me move me along. Also, on a TTC note, since this is supposedly TTC Thursday, which it's really not, but, um, so my cousin, who is the godmother of my child, and who was the maid of honor in my wedding, she found out last night she's pregnant, and I am so freaking excited for her. I'm also a little bit jealous because I got baby fever. So, my husband was asking me last night how I felt, because she got pregnant fairly quickly, which I'm not holding against her. I'm like, that's awesome. Go her. But um, she was kind of complaining to me that it was it was too hard and, and she hates waiting and she wants it to happen yesterday. And like I was like, I get it. You're talking to the wrong person. No, I did not have infertility issues. Thank God. I'm very lucky. Yes, it did take us a long time to get pregnant. The first time it took a year and a half. And the second time it took about six or seven months um, between our miscarriage and having Caden or getting pregnant with Caden. So I get it. Waiting sucks, but other people have it worse. Other people go years and years and years of trying, even with fertility medication and, and IVF and never get pregnant. And that's sad and awful. And I couldn't even imagine being in that position. So if any of you are in that position, I'm so sorry for you. And I'm sure that something good will come along one day for you, whether it be having a baby yourself or adopting or something you'll get your baby but anyways that's not really what I wanted to talk about but I just wanted to put that out there so yeah my husband wanted to know how I was feeling because she got pregnant so easily and I was like I mean I'm pretty I'm good I'm pretty happy for her actually that's a lie I'm incredibly happy for her I'm over the moon it's almost like I found out I was pregnant it's weird so today we've been texting and stuff but anyways as most of you know, I have baby fever. And so him and I were talking. And while I do want to lose 25 pounds, at least, before getting pregnant, I think we might start trying next month. And that is because it took us so long last time. And I am not confident, which might be bad on my part, I guess. I'm not confident that we are going to get pregnant right away. And if we do, then holy crap, I might poop myself. But, um... I just feel like, you know, it took so long for us to get to Caden, so why are we avoiding it now if we know we want another child, you know? And I'm going to continue the weight loss thing, obviously. I'm going to start a sugar-free diet starting tomorrow. My uh, monthly friend, AF, Aunt Flo, whatever you refer to it as, is supposed to start today, and I feel like it's gonna, which is pretty crappy, but anyways... So I think we're going to start trying next month, which, which after talking about that last night with him, it kind of made me want to like kick this diet in the ass and, and you know, really give it a, a boost. So that's kind of what my motivation is in this. And so, yeah, I'd love to have people join me. I feel like it'd be easier to hold myself and other people accountable, like with each other, you know, as a group, but I have one person in my support group that I was re referring to yesterday in our little Facebook group. Um, but she's like, I don't want to give up my coffee or alcohol, but otherwise I'll do it with you. And I'm like, um, sure. I'm not drinking coffee or alcohol, so, I mean, whatever. If that's what, if that's how you want to do it, go for it. But I'm going to try to do it for real. Not going to say I'm going to last 30 days. I might give up after like three, like I did with whole 30 but I feel like eliminating a little bit at a time is better, for me at least, personally, than doing a whole 30 and eliminating everything all at once because I thought I was going to kill myself or somebody else. So anyways, um, this video is probably about 15 minutes long now, so I am going to go. Thank you very much for listening to me ramble while I am driving. It kind of kept me busy for a little bit. Um... So yeah, I will talk to you guys maybe tomorrow. I was thinking about doing a day in life, but I don't really have a lot of exciting plans tomorrow, so I don't really know how that's going to go. But anyways, if you want to join me in our sugar-free month challenge for May, comment below and let me know that you're in. And um, if you make vlogs, also let me know, and I will totally subscribe to you. 
Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you have a wonderful day and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.